What's up, heroes? In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can manifest just about anything you want when it comes to your goals. And it comes down to these two things, frequency and format. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the frequency and the format that's going to almost guarantee that you can hit any goal that you want. Now, uh, let me first tackle frequency. When I when I say frequency, I mean how often you're writing your goals. Uh, I just received a text message several days ago from one of my clients, and he said, Jarvis, you'll never believe this. You know, I've been writing my goals every day, and you know, every morning uh, he's got his uh, his hero journal. He says every morning I I write my goals, and he has a very specific number for his goals. Uh, he's a numbers guy, so he's very detailed. So I mean, he even had it down to the decimal point of what he wanted his income to be for the year. And he says, you know, um, I write this every single day. And then fast forward the end of the year, they, he just got his tax return. And then uh, he sent me this text message. It was two screenshots. He said, hey, Jarvis, you never believe this. Here are the goals I write every day. First screenshot was a picture of his pa paper where he writes his goals. And second, second screenshot was of his tax return. He says, I hit my income goal almost to within $5 of the exact amount that I write every day. The first power behind your goals is the frequency in which you write them. When you write them every single day, there's something happens, something magical happens. You light off, you, you ignite uh, a series of events where the universe starts to conspire on your behalf to see to it that you get it. I recommend everyone, it's not enough It's not enough just to have a goal, but you have to write it every single day because a number of things happen. One, it keeps reminding you of what you committed to. So by every day you writing your goal, you reinforce the commitment that you made and it helps you stay focused. So I said that's the goal, so obviously now that that's the focus for the day. How am I going to make sure that that goal happens? So make sure you don't stay off, that you don't go off stray. Two, the other most important things happen. It kind of burns it into your subconscious. Most of your behaviors are driven by your subconscious. So um, if you're trying to pursue something, you have to get your subconscious bought into to to what you're pursuing because then you go on autopilot. You don't have to even try anymore. You naturally embody the behaviors, the mindset. Uh, the actions that it's going to take to hit that goal because your subconscious takes over and just you're like a robot, right? And, and your autopilot kicks in. So the second big thing is it, it burns it into your subconscious. The third, and this is the more nuanced one, is that the more obsessed you are over something, it's called the law of attraction. You start to attract it into your life. The universe starts to, to open doors and present opportunities and lay resources in front of you. The more and more you ask for something, the more and more you write it down, the more and more obsessed you are over something, the universe starts to lay down all the things that you need and put it in front of you and help you get it. And so writing your goals every day reinforces it to yourself. It gets your subconscious bought in. But more importantly, the universe gets on your team and it starts to give you everything you need to make sure that you get it. And so. The first part of having your goals and manifesting anything you want is writing them is the frequency, writing them every single day or not single, just like the sign says every damn day, <laughs> write your goals every damn day um, and watch and watch how things just start to line up for you. The, two th the second component of this, though, is the format, the format of your goals. So here I, I like to write my goals in a very specific format. Um, most of the time you have. People know what they want. You know, I want to increase my income. Uh, I want to lose some weight. Um, I think you have to be very clear when you write your goals and be very specific. So the f first thing I would encourage you to do is make it quantifiable. Don't just say I want to grow my income. I want to grow my income to this amount or by this percentage. It has to be something that you can measure so that you can look back on it and say, did I hit that goal or not? It's, you know, if you, don't, if you don't have a way to measure it, then it's not really uh, anything that's going to help you add urgency to it because you can't hold yourself accountable to it. So one, make sure it's very specific. Two, I always like to include why in my goal statement. And so 
is I say what I want to accomplish, why I want to accomplish it. Now, this is the part that's going to help your subconscious get bought in. It's, you know, you can easily say, you know, I want to make $250,000 this year. You know, I want to make $250,000 a year. I want to make $250,000. You can write it to your arm, to, to your fingers fall off. It's not that powerful by itself. Now, imagine if you said, I want to make $250,000 this year so my wife can quit her job or so my husband can quit his job that he hates. Boom. You see how more powerful that is? I want to make $250,000 this year so we can buy a home with a pool for the kids to play in. Boom. What you're doing there is now you're adding the emotional component that your subconscious attaches to. Your subconscious doesn't really attach to the goal or the number or the specifics. It attaches to the story and the emotion. And so you need to give it something to get emotionally attached to. Uh, it's, and I always say, it's just like, imagine your subconscious is a, a, a different person. You know, it's a completely separate person altogether. And you have to convince that person to get on your team. You have to convince them to work on your behalf. And so imagine if someone ran up to you and said, hey, run, go over there, run across the street. What's the first thing you're going to say? you are be like, why? Why am I running across the street? But if they came up to you and said, hey, run across the street because they're giving away $1,000. Well, boom. Okay, I'm ready. I'm, I'm running. You don't even have to say another word. I'm already over there, right? The moment you say why, now you easily you can. That person is more bought into what you're trying to get them to do. Well, your subconscious is the same way. You don't just say hey, hey, we need to make a bunch of prospecting calls today so we can make two hundred fifty dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's not as convincing to your subconscious. Now, if you say hey. We're going to make a bunch of prospecting calls today so we can make our income goal, which is going to allow my my partner to quit their job and for us to buy a new house for our children. Now your subconscious is like, OK, let's make these calls. Now let's make these calls. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm going to keep us on task and we're going to make these calls. The format of your goals are just as important as the frequency. Write your goals in a powerful way. That's going to get you emotionally attached to it and more importantly, get your subconscious bought in because that's where it's going to drive your behaviors. That's what's going to drive your actions that you take to get to the goal. All right, so those are the two, two big things. One, the frequent frequency. Write your goals every day. Two, write them in a way that's going to get you and your subconscious emotionally attached. Put on there not just what you want to accomplish, but why you want to accomplish it. That's going to drill in those behaviors and those actions that's going to help you manifest that goal. And if you don't have a, a journal to write this in, I highly, highly encourage you to get your hero journal. Uh, this, I've spent five years developing this, and it has a very specific format and clear sections for you to write your goals. I don't know if you can see this, but there's an area where every day, let's see if you can see this. Every day, you write your goals. You write your goals, both in your professional life your personal life, your health and fitness has a section for you to write the goal and then write all your actions that you're going to take that day to hit that goal. And then you do this every single day. Every day there's a new page. Every single day you're writing your goals. So this is the Hero Journal. There should be a link below for you to get your copy of your Hero Journal if you don't have one. Um, or you can go to themorninghero.com where you can uh, join the, a five-day challenge where I walk you through step-by-step -step over the course of five days how to create your goals, how to budget and, and time block your, your day, and how to be so productive that you just hit your goals on repeat. And so as a part of that challenge, you also get uh, a hero journal. So uh, that's for if you're really trying to take it to the next level. Now, if you're not trying to take it to the next level, you know, then that's fine. That's on you. If you're someone who wants to take it to the next level, get you this journal. It will light your life on fire. All right. I'll see you in the next video.